Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video, and today we've got another Team of the Week review for you guys, and this week it is the featured Team of the Week, Jonathan David. Now this guy's had a really nice boost on his card, obviously being the featured Team of the Week gives him a double upgrade, so he's had some huge boosts in some of his stats. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the card itself, then see how he performs in game, and then justify whether he's worth his price tag. At the moment you're looking at about 60k, which I think is probably fair given uh, given the boost this card has had, but we'll see if he lives up to that price tag in game. So starting off with the player bio, he's 5 foot 10, so quite tall. He does have high high work rates, which is quite strange for a striker. Might mean he drops in a little bit too much, but we'll see how he performs in game. He's right footed, 3 star skills, 5 star weak foot. 3 star skills is a little bit on the low side, but that 5 star weak foot is really promising. I feel like weak foot is potentially more important than skill moves this year. As skills are a little bit harder to do, but weak foot means you can go off either foot and shoot. Could be a really positive point for this card. Jumping into the stats themselves, we do have a nice high pace of 89, so with the right boost you can get that up to pretty much max levels. Shooting again, looks pretty good, good finishing, good attack positioning, shot power a little bit low, so I would be saying again, Hunter's probably uh, your best bet on this card to get the pace up really high and max out that shot power as much as you can. Passing is, is decent, you know, for a big striker, I mean, the, the key stat there is the short passing, so 86 short passing is really nice on that card, you're not going to be worried about the crossing or really the long passing too much, so having that high short passing is going to be really useful. Dribbling, again, as the player is 5'10", a little bit on the bigger side, you know, he's not your sort of Ben Yedder type nippy striker. So you are going to expect the balance to be a little bit lower, so 76 is, isn't great, but it's not too bad. Other than that, good ball control, good dribbling and great composure as well, so I don't think the dribbling should be too much of a problem. And then finally, looking at the defending physical, the thing that stands out is the fact that he does have 92 head and accuracy along with 95 jumping. So this guy's going to be an absolute beast in the air. Really promising as crossing is a little bit better this year and, and corners too. So he could be a really good target man to aim for in the box and, and score those headers for you. Along with that, he does have 94 stamp, which might mean that that high, high work rate isn't too much of a problem if he can keep going and, and harry the defenders until the end of the game. 83 strength as well is a nice bonus. And along with that, he does have the outside of the foot shot trait. So let's jump into this some gameplay and see how he performs. So jumping into the gameplay, the first thing you notice about this card is, as expected, he wins absolutely everything in the air. He is 5 foot 10, but that's still not the biggest. You know, there's still a lot of centre backs that will tower above him. But his jumping is superb. Honestly, he's a really great target man in terms of playing the ball up to him in the air. It was really effective to just play some like chipped passes up into his chest and his head, and he'd win everything and keep it. So that was really useful and provided a different sort of outlet that I'm not really used to having on FIFA, to be honest. It was really nice knowing that regardless of the pressure I was under, if I could find a chipped ball into David, we knew we were going to keep the ball because his head and accuracy is really good as well, and you just know he's going to win the header. So I think in terms of how to use him, he's really good for a 4-4-2 sort of little and large combo. I was using him up front with Ben Yedder, and with them both having four, uh, having five star weak foot, and obviously being slightly different in terms of style of play, it worked as a really nice combo. So chipping the ball up into David, getting the flick ons, and then Ben Yedder's away. Furthermore, then obviously, as you can see in some of the later clips in this video, he does score a lot of headers. Crosses into the box are a lot better this year than they were last year. You can realistically score crosses and headers this year. So he does give you that added option to know that, you know, if there's not really a lot on, just lumping it into the box, there is always that chance he's going to win the header and get the goal out of nowhere. In terms of the rest of his play, pace, he felt good, felt quick. Not, you know, crazy fast, not a Dama fast, not Mbappe fast, but quick enough to play. You know, I was using him in, in Division 2 and he felt up to speed with the game. Passing was superb, but that was something I was really impressed with. Even though the long passing is a little bit less than the short passing, and still for those sort of wide through balls, they were really effective. As you can see in a lot of the build up to some of these goals, they do often start from him playing the wide through ball out wide. So the passing was a real positive on this card. Dribbling, you know, you expect the slightly bigger player and to feel a little bit clankier than a, you know, it's harsh because I'm playing him up front with Ben Yedder. So to compare those two isn't really fair. So he, you know, naturally is a little bit clunky than a player like that. But I still wouldn't describe him as clun clunky. He didn't feel like a big man up top, in all honesty, on the ball. His dribbling was still decent. And a lot of that comes down to the five star weak foot. That was a huge positive on this card. Being able to go either way is such an important thing this year. Time and space is a lot more valuable this year than previous years on FIFA. So when you have an opportunity to shoot, having the option to use the left foot is a massive, massive positive. Stam as well, really, really good. You know, kept going all game. Was harrying the defence a lot. Didn't need to bring him off. 94 Stam really showed. 
In terms of negatives, I think the first thing is the skill moves. That That is quite a negative. Three stars, because if that was four star, this card would be worth twice as much. Because the three star does just limit him in terms of the opportunities that you can produce for yourself. That's why I'm saying to use him up front in the two, because it does just offer you that pass that's always there, rather than playing up front on his own. And the only other thing I'd highlight as a negative is you definitely need to put shot power on this card with the chem style, because 81 isn't enough without it. But with a hunter, you know, that's absolutely fine and that works. But in terms of the price range of being 60k, I think that's about right. Little and large up front with Ben Yedder for 100k all in. And your golden, really, I think they're a really, really strong partnership. And I think he's a very viable player to use if you like using taller strikers. But that brings me to the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, peace.